six. No one really thought for a moment they had a chance of finishing third. But victory over Dundee United on Saturday would put them right in the mix with two games still to play. Jimmy Calderwood started with a back three of Tuzani, Severin and Considine and a place two for Geoffrey de Vischer. Out went Alan Mabry through injury and Xander Diamond through suspension as Aberdeen defended a Pitodri record which had seen only Hearts and Celtic win there in the past seven months. Two changes for Craig Levine, whose side had drawn eight of their last 11 league games, including their last three. Daly and Robertson dropped out, with places found for Mark De Vries and Danny Swanson. And the commentary comes from Archie McPherson. It's touched on, that's better. Young's got a little... Good, nobody coming up. Yes! Beautifully struck in there. Richard Foster coming forward. Really out of the blue. Nothing much was happening. It was well beyond Muller there for that. Rebound. Good move there initially by Derek Young. Nice little flick back there. Flood trying to get a shot in. Bounce of the ball, be done. Well, there's Wilkie, brilliantly saved. There was no offside flag. Well, I credit the goalkeeper with a save because he stood up to it, but could Wilkie have placed a better angle on that? Swanson tries to cut it round. Langfield does get to it very well. That's a great effort. Danny Swanson measured that impeccably. The Bishop to take it. Decent ball. The player who got to the end of it, Karen Tuzani. Bad marking, I have to say again here. He was allowed to come in. There was a decoy jump just in front of him by Lee Miller. And he comes in behind him and puts Aberdeen two up. United for two very hard games facing them all. That's great play. Oh, it's a beautiful goal. Smashed into the back. Swanson. What a way to come back, and that gives them another opportunity. This game is coming alive. To that far side, the jump in and just passed there once again. Karim Tuzani came up. He's already scored that uh, very useful second goal, and he was hovering at the edge of the box. Oh, brilliantly saved, and that was the best header of the game thus far by Lee Miller. Tremendous head of that. Neatly cleared. Good tackling. Played wide. He's not far away. Derek Young again picking up. Good diagonal run. He had the choice of winning it across or trying the angle shot himself. The game for long, long spells and, uh, you know, we gifted, in my eyes, we gifted uh, Aberdeen uh, two goals. And, you know, the biggest disappointment, of course, is I think we played well. And to come away from Pataudry, uh, to have as much possession and territorial advantage as we had today, and not to, to take any points back down to Dundee with us is extremely disappointing. You can see the disappointment etched in Craig Levine's face. A lot of people looked at that match beforehand and thought, Mark, it was a must-win for Dundee United. I would have said so, yeah, absolutely. But um, you know, Jimmy Calderwood's side is, is putting things together. It pretty much mirrors last season. You know, They come with a run right mm. at the end, put a few games together. 
uh, and got that spot. And uh, they're doing the same again today. But I think uh, I think Jimmy will be delighted with the, the way his team are playing at the moment. I think we can safely use the word roller coaster mm -hmm. alongside season for Aberdeen, Jim. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I think it's, it's great. I mean, some people say that oh, Aberdeen just uh, you know don't deserve it or whatever. But you know, they, they, you've got to take the season as, as a marathon mm -hmm. event. You know, and you don't sprint away. You come with a great run. And if they if they can time it and get another couple of results, they may well yeah um, surprise everyone. But I think getting that. Um, six spot in, the, in, in, in that, that vital match against mm. Falkirk. I think just gave everyone at Aberdeen a lift because financially, I mean, it, it certainly helped Jimmy's budget for next year. I think it gave him the opportunity to to try and look to strengthen their side. And I think the players, you know, realise that they're, they're in amongst the, the good teams, if you want to call it that, for this year. And uh, I think they've all they've all responded to it's that. It's all about consistency, isn't it? They haven't had consistency over two years for me, Aberdeen. You know, the, as you said, it's been a roller coaster. It's all about timing, getting this consistency timed. You know, for the final stage of the season, they seem to have that on the nail. On that subject, Mark, Rangers won't need reminding that their last game is at Pitodri. Yep. If Aberdeen are playing for third place that now night, there could have a, a whole different bearing on. Now there is a scenario, isn't there? So, but uh, I mean, this is—I mean, it's a fantastic, fantastic this yeah. to be happening in the league. So mm. many things happening. You know, top. I mean, the bottom thing has been finished for a long, long time. But there's so many teams now that can come for the last for the last run. Top two, who's going to win that? We don't yeah, you know. can argue right. the merits of the top stuff. six, but the top six, every single team is playing for something. Yeah. I don't think we can ask yeah. for any more than that. We certainly can't argue. Uh, Aberdeen scored two goals in this match. The first one coming in the first half, 15 minutes before half time, Jim, from Ricky Foster. Yeah, I mean, uh, the ball's played in. I mean, uh, people are saying Zalewski had a great save. I, I think it's actually quite a poor save because yeah, yeah, yeah. he puts it right into the, you know, the middle of the goal. And it's not, it's not a great strike, it's right at him. Uh, and I feel he should have done a lot better with it. I think he could have held it. Uh, and, but, uh, pushing uh, it away from yeah, his chest. He should have pushed it really wide if he is going to push it out. He's pushed it back into the central area. And Ricky Foster falling up is a good strike into the corner. Uh, three minutes after the break, it was 2-0. And again, a simple header mark. Yeah, I think it's uh, Tuzani, on, Tuzani. The, uh, on the far post. I think we'd be delighted with his performance as well. Uh, and you know what you're going to get from Aberdeen. You've got Barry Nicholson that likes to get forward and score goals. And looking at Tuzani, he's another one of these players that likes to arrive into the box late. And, uh, you know, those sort of players on your side, scoring goals as well. You've got Miller up front, so informed team. As with Celtic at Motherwell, Dundee United hit back straight away to get right back into the game after Aberdeen went 2-0 ahead. And Danny Swanson continues to impress Jim. Yeah, what a goal this is. Uh, you know, it's just all about natural ability and uh, being really positive. He gets the ball, he's surrounded by players, he dances his way out too. I love a little nut nutmeg on Considine. And then a fantastic finish. I mean, that is a great goal. Great balance. From a, from yeah. a young player they've plucked from, uh, you know, lower league football. And Craig Levine's, you know, just uh, trying to guide him along nicely. But uh, I think the, the Nee United fans will be real looking for him next year to be a real uh, favourite. And, uh, you know, he's one of those players that entertains. He's not going to do it every week, mm. but when he does turn it on like that, he's a joy to watch. And, of course, Mark, Dundee United have a big say in terms of the title as well. Their last two games, Rangers at Ibrox, Celtic at Tannadice. I know, and couldn't ask for a tougher running, could you, with both these teams running for a championship? And then Craig, obviously, not happy with his team's performance or not getting away from anything from... From, from up at Petaudry, so, you know, everything's on for them. They know what they need to do. They need to win all their last games now if they're going to have any chance of finishing in that third spot. And it wouldn't surprise us greatly, Jim, if they took points from either side of the old firm. No, they're, they're a very good side. It, strangely, when you look at the highlights, Jim, it looked as if Aberdeen deserved to win it, but Craig Levine fully believed his mm. team were the better side. Um, I'm sure Jimmy disagreed with that. But they have got the ability, they've got quality, they've got physical presence, and, uh, you know, they've got, you know, they can cause teams problems at set pieces but they have to defend a lot better than they did at Pataudry. Yeah, it was a great second half at Pataudry. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Coming up, I'm clear of Rangers now with the first of Rangers' three games in hand coming against Motherwell at Ibrox on Wednesday. Mark McGee's side still third, but Hibs up to joint fourth on points now, and Aberdeen have put themselves in the mix for third spot as well with two games still to play for them.